This here is the room heater. Obviously it also has a main power button so when you want to turn the heater on you have to turn this on first. Um, and then come to the heater. Um, normally you would find this flap uh, closed but you need to pull up the flap. And then you see there are three controls. This is always on, this is off and then this is timed on. So basically if you keep it to the first one, on the first one and the plug is on, the heating will all start and it will always be on. If you want to turn it off, you can you can either switch it off from here or you bring it back at the center, which is the off button. Um, but I would recommend you switch it off from there just in case, you know, so you don't so you don't get a lot of electricity bills. Um, then there's um, the timed one. So basically you have to put it on the timed one and then select what time it can uh, turns on and turns off. Uh, using this dial here um, if you do not know how to use this dial just you know google and or see on youtube how people can explain you you know uh, how to use this dial but it's very straightforward you know it has a 24 hour dial clock all you do is uh, you know decide what time you want it to turn on and turn off and then accordingly pull these switches uh, these tiny bits you know in or out so you either pull them in or out depending on whether you want them on or off at that time uh, but yeah, have a look at YouTube and you will know exactly how to use that. Uh, for now, I will switch it off from both here as well as here.